thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. In this little video series, I want to show you all the basic sewing techniques you need to follow all of my patterns confidently and joyfully. I simply like creating things and sewing so much, and I hope to inspire you to get started with sewing or to get that sewing machine out back from the attic or out of the cupboard or wherever you're hiding it. All the videos in this little series are going to be linked down below in the video description. And now, let's get started. In this video we are going to have a look at the seam allowance. So the seam allowance is the area between the fabric edge and the line of stitches. And on my patterns you can always see the seam allowance here with this dotted line. And in my older patterns I don't have that line but it always says the seam allowance if you have to add it or not. On other patterns you can find the seam allowance in the description, in the directions here. For example here it is a quarter inch seam allowance that you have to add or you can see the seam allowance it's already included here you can see the dotted line that the dashed line that is the seam allowance quarter inch so the seam allowance can range from a quarter inch to several inches and I mostly use a quarter inch or one centimeter seam allowance then you just use your pattern piece and you place it on the fabric and if the seam allowance is already included you just cut all the way around exactly on the line so that you get the pattern piece to the size that you need for the project. If you want to cut out some more complicated pattern pieces then it's advisable to use an air erasable pen or a pen that disappears after you iron the fabric and then you just trace your pattern piece onto the fabric and then you can cut all the way around. I'm mainly doing that with my doll limbs with the arms and legs and the head. And many machines have guide markers. You can see them here. It says a quarter inch, five eighths of an inch, and these, this little grid here, the lines and the grid, can help you to sew a straight line when you want to add a specific seam allowance. And it's always determined from your needle position. So you're measuring your seam allowance from the needle position so that the seam is being sewed on the needle and then you have the exact little area between the fabric edge and the line of stitches. There are also quilting or presser feet that have a quarter inch seam allowance or that have like a guide on their feet. I do not have one right now, but I'm going to blend one in here. And you can see on the right hand side that that little bit is exactly a quarter inch. So that really helps you when you're sewing or when you're quilting. I do not have one at the moment because I'm usually just um, using the little grid here on my sewing machine. Now if you want to make life a little bit easier for yourself, you can make yourself your own seam allowance guide with a tape. So now I'm checking the needle position and then I'm measuring from the needle position because this is going to be where my seam is going to be. And now I want a quarter inch seam. And I'm measuring this. So this is exactly where it aligns with this is exactly a quarter inch and this fabric of course makes it particularly easy because you have a straight line there with the grid on the fabric. But if you don't have that then it's easy just to measure it and to figure it out. So half an inch would be exactly this line here on the grid, the furthest line on the left. So now I'm using my tape guide and I'm taping it down here and then all I have to do is align the raw edge of the fabric with my tape guide and then I can sew knowing that I'll have a perfect seam allowance. How easy is that? I like it. And if you need a different seam allowance just use your ne needle position and then you can measure. I think I'm doing a half an inch seam down and this is just between two of my grid lines here on my sewing machine and I'm taping it down and then I can sew again. 
And in the next video, we are going to have a look at how to finish raw edges without a serger or overlocker. And this can easily be done with your sewing machine. And I can't wait to show you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.